Hello everyone! Well, this certainly was an ambitious project. Just to give you a sense of scale, the city of Arakeen in its final state consists of 37 buildings, which have a combined park count of over 2,000. As I mentioned earlier though, I did not do all this myself. This city was built mostly by KSP players from the Upsilon Initiative. In a nutshell, this Upsilon Initiative is a community-run colonization project in which players submit bases, stations, rovers, and more to a huge community game save. So far, they've gathered over a hundred submissions. If you want to learn more and maybe participate yourself, check out the description for more information. Alright, there's a lot to see in the city, so let's go exploring. I'll start with my submission, the Arakeen Citadel. Inspired by a tower from a certain Half-Life game, the Arakeen Citadel is the central landmark of the city. It stands at 376 meters tall, is made of 540 parts, and has a total mass of 4,000 tons. The tower has other nifty features too, such as this rocket-powered elevator which can give Kerbals a nice ride from the tower base all the way up to the top floors. They get a pretty spectacular view of Duna on the way up too. Lastly, it has a special feature at the top that, well, enables some interesting transportation. I'll show you that later though. But first, let's see some more of the city. One of the tallest structures in the city is the NTTC, a 200 meter tall residential tower inspired partly by the Burj Khalifa. As you can see, Blackbird did a spectacular job with this one. Despite being one of the tallest and most striking buildings in the city, it's only 186 parts, which help keeps the lag down. Speaking of striking, Snowsib Snob built this unique corkscrew-shaped tower for attracting tourists. Its unique shape stands in contrast to the rest of the skyline, offering an interesting destination for Kerbals to visit and admire. To give our Kerbals some entertainment on the Red Planet, the Benjineer built this 1.8 to 1 scale replica of the Berlin TV Tower for the city. Through the use of fairings, he did a fantastic job replicating the shape of the tower while keeping the park count and lag down. Despite its height, this tower has a surprising park count of only 114. Moving on, every city needs public transportation, and thankfully, Golden Boy has us covered here. This elegant bus terminal hosts a fleet of self-charging buses to ferry Kerbals around the 4 square kilometers of the city. Moving on, AM Aeronautics provided this gorgeous starport to serve as the first point of contact for ships arriving in the city. It features four landing pads, two of which are occupied by these VTOL shuttles, which are capable of transporting 400 tons of cargo between Duna's surface and orbit. AM Aeronautics also contributed another large structure, the Arakeen ISE. Inspired by the space elevator from Ace Combat, the Arakeen ISE is intended to serve as the base of a future space elevator for further expanding the city. While that may or may not come to fruition, the structure at least looks very nice and serves as habitation for Kerbals residing in the city. Of course, any self-sustaining Duna colony needs a mining platform to replenish fuel, and that is exactly what Azathoth has provided here. The aptly named Mega Rig is the second tallest tower in the city at 258 meters tall, and has more than enough fuel storage to satisfy the city's voracious consumption. So, as part of the Upsilon project that I mentioned earlier, another, smaller colony was also built on Ike. To make sure we never lose connection with this sister colony, the Benjineer built this absolutely massive radio dish. With a diameter of 100 meters, I'm sure connectivity will never be an issue again. Alright, so, so far we've seen all sorts of crazy builds in the city, some of which no doubt consume a ton of electrical power. We came prepared though, or at least the creator, Dunder, had some foresight. He provided us with this excellent Takamek style fusion reactor to keep the lights on. That all said, there's one last part of Arakeen that we haven't discussed yet. However, it's in orbit. Let's head on back to the Citadel real quick. You know how I mentioned that interesting transportation feature earlier? Well, let's take a closer look. Huh. 
we appear to have this tiny capsule which is on top of a giant stack of rocket engines. I wonder what would happen if we hammered the throttle. While the g-forces may slightly exceed the recommended maximums, it's hard to argue with the results. This craft could never make orbit on its own, but with this nice technique, we can reach orbit with plenty of Delta V to spare. Delta V to spare to reach our final destination. And here it is. An absolutely ridiculous communication satellite to get Arakine that sweet, sweet high-speed internet. Built by Golden Boy, this monster has over 1,300 parts, a thousand of which are the largest relay dishes in the game. Wow, that is some serious power. Finally, maybe it's enough for Jeb to play Counter-Strike on. And that just about wraps it up. I want to say a huge thanks to everyone who contributed to this project. This city would not exist without their extraordinary skill and dedication. Please give them praise for their incredible work. And lastly, thank you so much for watching. As always, please let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one.